thank you very much for being here. My name is Iksha Ruiz. I'm from Mexico, living in Switzerland. I'm a Java champion. I work for a company, JFrog. Today's presentation is about a key part of our software development process, dependencies. We don't need to reinvent the wheel every time we want to achieve some new level of functionality or deliver software faster. We want and we do reuse software written by others every day, software dependencies. And they are an integral part of the software development cycle. They will be used at different stages, development, runtime or execution, and testing. But they are not all the same. So I'm going to present you with two statements and you will tell me if they are true or false. Dependencies are collections containing high quality tested code that provides functionality that requires significant expertise to develop. True. Dependency managers like NPM have made possible that almost trivial functionality can be packaged and published. True. So these are both sides of the spectrums in terms of how the functionality provided by dependencies. So we know that there are different types of dependencies. For this super quick talk, I'm only going to mention them. Framework libraries, package models, and resources. And we have a very clear example in Angular, which is a platform, and React, which is a library. So they are already telling you the level of integration between different functional components and how opinionated they are. Uh, and on the other side, this is a list of NPM micro packages that are very useful. So we have discussed that there are different types of dependencies. So with this, we can also start thinking about our degree of need or dependency level. So we can create a map of what our out of what of our dependencies are crucial, important, cosmetic, easily exchange or superfluous. And this all this will help us to define um, the cadence of update, the migration cost, or cleanup efforts. And these are really important during the development process and under normal circumstances when the dependencies are okay. But things go wrong and they usually go wrong. So adding a dependency outsources the work of developing that code, uh, designing, writing, testing, debugging, and maintaining to someone else, often the unknown programmer. And using that specific code exposed our programs to all failures and flaws that there will be in our dependency. For example, in NPM in March 2016, left batch, there was a dispute between the naming, so it was unpublished three hours later. Um, NPM registry uh, published it again and even changed its policies. In February 2018, there was a problem with NPM version 5.7.0. And in Linux, when you run the uh, sudo NPM, it changed the ownership of the system file. So they broke the machine. In July 2018, um, there was the NPM credentials of a maintainer of Estlin scope were compromised. So there was a release, a malicious release of Estlin scope in version 3.7.2, and that copied the NPM credentials of the machine that were running it and upload them. In November 2018, it was discovered that a malicious package had been added as a dependency to version 3.3.6 of event stream. This, is, this was the flat map stream and stole, uh, contained encrypted payloads that stole bitcoins from certain applications. In April 2020, a small package called is promise um, made a lot of uh, serverless application go down. In January 2022, um, I think you all know that the maintainer of colors pushed changes printing garbage text in an infinite loop. And that was a problem. Most recently, uh, companies like mine, JFrog, is actually uh, constantly updating and sending information about malicious NPM packages that have appeared. So those are from some of the, the most recent ones. 
But with all these problems, don't, don't, don't despair. There are tools, for example, X-Ray, which is an application security SEA tool attached to Artifactory that anal uh, um, analysis, that makes analysis of uh, fully automated analysis on our binaries and supports all major types and goes really deep into dependency packages containing imagers, zip files, etc. This the scorecard is more for open source authors, so they can run this project and it will create, it will assess a number of important heuristics and it will tell you what are the areas you have to improve in your open source project and the risk identify risk, etc, etc. So it's really good to for the maintainers to make improvements here you can download there's another really interesting article about by ross Koss uh, about surviving software develop the, the software dependencies where he goes into a different kind of questions about how do we um, treat dependencies and what are the key features that we should be looking at when deciding about going with any specific dependency or not. But truly, um, there is one tool at the center of all this discussion that is super important, the universal artifactory management. And even before I joined JFrog, I, I, I used it and I loved it. So JFrog will give you the capabilities of publishing to the different repositories. As we saw, it has X-ray, so if you're actively scanning all your binaries, deeply scanning all your binaries, getting information from the new advisories, and it helps you in the in management of roles. You can have as many repositories as you want, so it's really easy to separate concerns. If you want to know more about this topic, even with examples in with Artifactory and X-Ray, you should look into the workshop that already happened, sorry, and, but it's recorded. So go ahead into the web page and look at it. Thank you very much. I'm really happy that you were here with me. I hope to see you soon.